in a world full of terrible blender kitchens, one man has come to save us all. Lord Fish is the kitchen maker. Just kidding, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Blender. Um, just for you, you can see I got everything highlighted up here. I just boosted that up because we're going to make our fridge next, right? And we just don't want any interference for we can't see it at the top, right? So if you want to do that, pause the video while you move yours up for it's going to be in a good position that it's not going to get in your way. And you're going to be able to make your nice, a beautiful uh, fridge. We're going to do a fridge today, by the way, if I haven't said it. When you are ready, go ahead and shift A, and we'll get started. Just one second. Sorry. All right, let's roll. So what I'm going to do first is just S it until we kind of match a bit better. With this and this. All right. And uh, we can also do multiple versions of our fridge, but let's just uh, do a one thing at a time here. Let's just get this one over. Is the cupboard door is attached to it. Yeah, I think they are. Just in our way a bit. Give us a little bit more room. Perfect. And I hope you guys are all doing well. If you're making your own project, remember that it's going to be hard, but you're going to get there. So keep on just keeping it cool and relaxing and don't panic even when it seems like you're just gonna be defeated you won't you got this so uh, we might change the shape of the fridge in the front but we're not gonna move it up to the middle yet or like for it sitting up yet we're just gonna leave it sitting where it is for a reason um, actually before we start let's mm, I'm just thinking, sorry. Let's shift, I uh, don't know if I want to shift D this or if we want to shape it then shift D. I think we want to shape it first, so let's go ahead and do that. It's not, not always easy to think everything out. Sometimes you thought it all out. And then when you go to do it, you realize you missed something crucial or you did it something backwards or, and you have to just start over trying my best not to or to prevent that but it's not always easy as you can see all right so let's go ahead and undo that and remember i, I don't practice i'm just freestyling it just like doing art i don't think i'm some great wonderful blender guy i just think that i'm an all right artist and i got some good ideas so hopefully you guys are okay with that and you like the stuff i make I do get a little bit of negative comments, and I'm totally okay with that. I just want you guys to know what you're getting into when you get my help. So if you think this is thick enough, which I do, most fridges aren't that deep. They're about the same as a cupboard, I believe. Maybe you want to go a bit thicker. Totally up to you. This is where your, um, your own sense of creativity comes into play. So we're going to shift D this. Okay. And we're going to move it out. And we're going to S it down to about there. All right, so we should have the same gap on either side, which is perfect. What we're trying to do now is get the gap that we're going to use on the bottom here for the fridge part. So we're going to shift D that maybe. And we can just go here right now to change things up here again just for it's a little easier to see what you're doing while you're working with me here. I know that can be difficult. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Did I do that wrong? I think I did, just one second. If the shader changes, I'll change it back, don't worry. Okay, what I want to do here is before we go ahead and shrink it to the right size, what we want to do, shift D this, right? And we're just going to make a blank that's too big, but 
the reason is, is we don't want to lose our width side to side. We want to keep it perfect. And we could go in manually and just make sure uh, and just take our time doing it. And that would be fine too, but I'd just rather do it this, this way. I think it's a bit easier. So I'm going to move this down here like so. Um, why is it so thin? We'll fix that up. So let's move that out there. Why is it? Oh, right, right, right. Because this is going to be the piece that we shrink our other piece from, and we're going to do the other one after. So we don't need this one, I don't think. I apologize about the confusion. I'm thinking out with you, so it's not always easy. Okay, but let's leave this one, shift D it, move it back. Okay, so that one's going to be the size of our door, and it already has the right size. So we're just going to do this. Okay. And then we're going to stop about there. And then we're going to... Just thinking, sorry. <laughs> Thinking if that's the right proportions, really. Let's do this. Let's grow these both together a little bit, like so. And then let's just move them together a little bit, like so. I think that's about right. We might have to adjust it after, but we'll go with that for now. So we're going to go shift D again, and we're going to move that one just up here, and we're just going to shrink it up and down. Sorry again for all the confusion. I feel so bad when I get it like that, but sometimes it just happens when I'm trying to explain things. Something like this, and we're going to shift D it. Then we are going to asset and try to match the one down there. You can look up the size of it if you want. Go here, and I'm not sure what the side to side would be. Um, y. So it would be this one, 1602. So if you wanted, yeah, you can see this is 1604, so you do 1.602. And that should be exactly the same if you want to do it that way. I just wanted to give you an example. Don't usually do it that way, but you definitely can. And that way it's exactly the same, right? So leave that face sticking out before it starts to round, just like this one. Grab that one, and then grab the fridge. So we're going to click this with left click, then shift left click, then shift left click. Then object, then bool, then difference, OK? Pretty easy. Got ourselves a nice little fridge already. Okay, let's do a little bit more, okay? Let's go ahead and make these a lot thinner because they're gonna be. These are just doors now. Something like that. Let's move them in and see what they look like. Well, that actually works out pretty good. The only thing I might do is try to curve this corner, but I don't know how it's going to go because of the other ones. Yeah, it's not liking it, I can tell you that. So maybe don't do that. I'm going to have to leave it like that, I think. Maybe we'll make a second version while we round the bottom one. Um, Why is that one so messed up? Oh, right, right, right. We would have had to do it the same as that one. Okay. The only other way I can think to do it is to basically um, to replace the whole piece, basically. And we could do that. it just take a little bit of time. So we're going to make a second version where we think it out a little better. This is going to be our first basic model. Maybe you want to move this up a bit. Like something like that. It looks like it's a little too... Maybe you want to give them a little bit more of a gap between the other part. It's up to you. So we're going to Shift-A to finish this off, if you're with me. 
and we'll do a little bit better of a version after if you're not happy with that. But this will be good practice if you're not. But most games I do, I try to be, give people a variety to pick from because everybody's going to see things a little bit different. Some people are going to look and go, that's garbage, and other people are going to look and go, that's really nice, I really like that. So keep that in mind. Okay, let's see. Want something like this. Maybe a little longer for this one. We're going to shift D. And we're going to move this out just a little bit. Actually, let's right click it and just hit S. And then we're going to move it out after. Just give it the same edge as that one. And we're going to go to Scalar up there. And just make it a little thicker. And then we're going to shift left click the second one object bool tool difference okay and that's how we're going to make our handle we're going to go to the move spot handles are usually on the left side of our fridge not sure why that's your food eating arm i guess shift d you go up here this is way too big lord fish what are you doing this is way too big there you go now it's not Okay, and I said we're going to do a better version, so let's, um, sorry, excuse me, attach that, control J, and then we're going to grab this one and attach it to that one, control J. Um, yeah, I got time, I got time. Then we are going to go to the mover tool, we're going to grab this, this, and this, okay? We're just going to kick it off to the side, and we can move it up, make it level with the other ones, ish. Okay, we got our first fridge. Let's do a better job this time, you're saying. All right, you got it. I'll try to think it out better this time, my friends. 1840. Let's try this. 1.840. That's exact width of the other one. Let's see, 1306. 1.306. Okay, that's the exact. Is it though? Oh, it must be the countertop they're counting. Okay, well let's 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 use that anyways. And we'll make our own height because we're geniuses. Just kidding. <laughs> we're alright though. Alright. Um so this time. I'm gonna curve the front with it, I guess. Let's think about this. Um so let's just grab the whole thing. No, let's not do that, actually. Let's grab this, this. Um, ch -ch -ch, this, this, and this. Okay, let's see what we get. And I think that's about what we want. You might want to change your mind. Remember, keep it in the middle for now, just while we're working with it. So, let's try this again. Now we got a top that's rounded and a bottom that's rounded. Right? Correct? All right, perfect. All right. So, this is going to be our first piece. So, we are going to do something like this, maybe. And then we're going to shift D, and we're going to move the top piece in this time first. To make sure it's about right. I'll we'll shrink it a bit. I want something like this, I think. Let's move it up into place. So something like that would be basically perfect to me. Might have to go up just a hair to make sure we're... But I think that's going to be close enough for sure. Um, so. Let's... Shift D it, and then let's shrink it down like that. Okay. And let's take this one, and let's hit S. Okay. I'm going to move that in after, until just as it starts to curve. All right. Hopefully that's okay with you. It looks pretty good. You might want to move it down, just because it's going to be a little weird on the texture up here. But if you do, make sure you move them down together, okay? 
I'm going to leave mine up here. I'm going to just try to deal with it. And hopefully it looks okay. But just warning you, there may be some issue. And you may be able to fix it with subdividing, as I'm always reminded by one of my YouTuber friends, um, Cosplay Zine Design. He seems like a really good guy. He's always trying to help people out and let them know about their mistakes nicely. <laughs> All right. Let's see. We've got to go a little more than that, huh? So what we want is a gap in between and a gap on the bottom. Trick's going to be probably matching them. That's probably good there, eh? So let's um, shift D and then let's make it skinny. We'll match the size of the other one after. And then we will S this one until we're happy. Try to match the size of the other one. Probably do one of these and have a look if you really want. Let's see. 140, 1606. There. Now we know it exactly the same size as the other one, okay? Maybe you want it a bit taller. Up to you. I think that's gonna do for us. So when you're ready, grab them both, grab the fridge, and we're gonna go Bool difference, okay? And if you need the adjustments, I mean, you shouldn't, you shouldn't unless you attach something, in which case you're not following my instructions, and you're on your own. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm not mad. Um, Okay, so the next part we're gonna have to make a handle again. So let's do that quickly and let's get to coloring. And we'll come back in our next video for um, a couple more small accessories around the kitchen, but we'll be closing up the series pretty much after this. Probably one or two more videos of just small things around the kitchen. And unless you guys let me know if I'm missing something and I'll throw it in, I'll get it done too, but I cannot really think of too much that I am missing. I think I got pretty much everything, so just trying to evenly get that in that gap there. Let's drive it over like that. And then we can make it skinnier. And then we're gonna oops, grab the edges here. Just this one and this one. Then control B. Pretty much what we did before. You can leave it sharper or making it more. I don't leave it like this this time. Shift D it again, hit S. Okay, let's have a look. Try to match the handles with the size of these. this part of the handle with this part of the handle, basically, is the trick. And then it looks natural, it looks good. Make it thicker because we're gonna be booling that shape out. Okay, grab that one. Object, bool, and difference. Guys, make sure you thumbs up on my videos when you're watching them. It really helps with the algorithms. It gets to more people and more people who are having troubles. And we all want to help each other when we're being game makers, when we're working on projects, because life's hard enough. Don't be that guy that makes things harder for people. Be the guy who helps. Not because he gets something back, because it's the right thing to do. And if you disagree, let me know in the comments. I'm curious your opinion on that. <laughs> All right, so I think we got this the right size. I just shift D to copy that, moved it up and adjusted the size as you've seen. When you're ready, attach this to that with uh, uh, control, no, sorry. What am I doing? Control J, yeah. This to that with control J. All right, and we have our two handles. We can move them in. I think this one's slightly out farther. All right. Oop, looks like we're still out a little bit. 
you need to adjust their heights or anything at all, just go ahead, just drag it up. It should move as one piece. It shouldn't be weird or anything. We didn't flip it or anything like that. But I imagine it looks pretty good at this point. So let's go ahead and color it. I'm going to attach them for now while I color it. And then I'm going to disattach the door just to make sure or just to make it easier for coloring. It'll still give it the same slots and it'll still be the same thing. So we'll go down to here and then we'll go up to here and we're back to our, oh, sorry, this one and we're back to our coloring shader. So if you hit plus, new, we're going to go ahead and make this one gray. So then we're going to go into edit mode with tab, hit assign, everything is gray. All right, I had these two grabbed. Let's, no, I don't need to do that. The only thing that really needs to be colored here is these handles. So maybe we'll go ahead and we'll just make them a different color. It doesn't matter what it is because you're just giving it a slot that says, hey, this has a different color. Not a big deal again. Really easy to do. And that's it. We got our, we got our fridge. Maybe for one last added touch, I can make us... Uh, yeah, we'll do it. We'll make a, we'll make a, uh, what were we going to make? <laughs> so to disattach those again, before I do anything else, I should show you this. We're going to do that. We're going to do P selection. Okay. And it's going to move your axis for moving it. But that's okay. Well, I'll show you how to fix that as well. Just a second. We'll do this one. We'll do this one. P selection, okay? Come out of there, grab it, oh. and then we're gonna right click it, set a origin, and origin to geometry. Same thing on this one. Okay, now you're moving pivot points right there and it's colored the same as the other one. All right, you wanna try to put multiple schemes of colors on that, you're more than welcome to give it a try. Um. I'm going to just boost that up like that so it kind of looks better in our kitchen. It gives you more uh, overall picture of it. Okay, let's grab this and this and let's move them out. Now, let's see if we can quickly put a shelf in here. We're going to shift A and we're going to hit a cube. Okay, and then we're going to move that cube up slightly. And we will go into edit mode. Now let's go out edit mode. Let's move it out because I can't really see the edges. Now we'll go into edit mode. Click off everything. Click on this one, this one, this one, and this one. Don't have to do the back ones. You could just do, actually, let's just do the front ones. Let's see if that's better, actually. Control B. Do it like that, something like that. And then we'll go out of that mode. We'll back this up. Let's go. Let's go S first. And then we'll skip it over a little bit by the looks of things. For some reason. No, no. We're probably just not seeing it. Yeah, that's the case. I think it's messing evenly on both sides, so we'll hit S. Okay, you can see it when it cuts in. Okay. See, we're much too big, so let's just go a little bit this way. That looks pretty good. And then let's go real thin this way. Okay. All right, um, if you want, you could do, go up to faces, grab this, just hit I, and then we are going to hit E. Just give that a little lip. You see, it just has a little bit of a better look to it. Um, Let's color it before we re reproduce it, for it reproduces the colors with us. It might be a little big still. I 
Got to get going soon, guys. Otherwise, I just keep going and giving you some more stuff. Hopefully, this is useful. Not a lot of people say thank you. Not a lot of people say, hey, that's really useful. I really like this design. Not too much stuff like that sometimes, but I really appreciate the feedback when you do give it to me. If you found this useful or if you just liked it, make sure you thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And just let me know how you feel. I really appreciate it. I appreciate the help just like I'm trying to give to you. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna color it on its own for a reason. And you'll hopefully like my trick that I'm gonna use here. What we're gonna do is that, right? And we're gonna make that an aluminum color like the fridge, right? And then we're gonna click on this. Sorry, I need to get under here and like that. Oh, that one doesn't have an, a thing on the bottom side. So maybe we'll do that. Just hit I and give it a lip like the other side and E and just go up a hair. Okay, hopefully you didn't hit the other side. Click this side at the same time and we're going to give them a different color because we're going to make them out of glass where you can actually see through it. So that way it's a see-through transparent shelf. And hopefully you guys like that idea and you can find this useful too for your game. Make your fridge a little nicer. So I'm just gonna give it a color to represent glass that I'll know, hey, I, I put glass on that, that's a glass color. And as you can see, it's done on both sides. Should be around a matching lip. We should have done them together, but we didn't. So we'll shift D that. Could put another shelf down here maybe. Shift, uh, let's take this one, Shift D. Maybe we'll do this. We'll go down a little bit, we'll go down a little bit, and we'll go up a little bit. Okay, there. We've got our fridge shelves now. Perfect. We're just going to add them to the fridge. Control J. Got them on. Our doors are separated so we can make them open in our game. The queen shall be so happy with us that we did some more good work for her. I hope you guys have all enjoyed today. And if you have, make sure you thumbs up. Like I said, I really appreciate it. And if you feel like I've helped you, then please help me back. Give me a thumbs up, give me a like, and give me a comment. Tell me if you're going to use it in a project, if you find it useful, if you're making a game and you're really going to be able to use all this stuff. If you still need more stuff, just let me know in the comments.